When you look ahead to game three and all the good things that happen in game two and how close you've got a chance to put a puck in that you normally do, do you, do you come into game three here confident that things are going to start to turn for you soon? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know if it's been a little bit snake bitten or just not kind of capitalize on your chances, but I feel like we're getting close. There's a lot of guys who are, you know, getting good looks and sometimes they're just not going to net. But uh, I think we stick with it, get our home crowd, get on home ice, maybe it'll just start going in for us. It's just a greasy goal that you need to get you going the way you'd like to? Yeah, you know, I think I'm playing well. I think I'm getting, I'm getting the opportunities. I have the puck on my stick a lot. Just trying to make a little bit more happen with it. Um, you know, like you said, in overtime there, you know, it's usually puck I put in the net, but uh, this is the way it goes sometimes in playoff hockey. Playing with Sam. What kind of space does he create given his size and just the way he plays the game? Yeah, he plays a heavy game. You know, I play with him a lot. You know, him and Hyman sometimes I play with those two guys. So uh, they get on the four check, like separating guys from the puck and um, lets me come, kind of come in, pick pucks from the pile and uh, get open ice. And, um, you know, it's good to have two guys that uh, play the right way. When you're in the moment of that game, it's, you know, 15 to 2 in the first period and 1.19 to 2 in shots and a lot of them really good chances. Are, are you, like, incredulous that you can't get a goal? Is that just... Yeah, or is that just hockey? It's, you just, know? it's just hockey, you know. It's you know, goals are hard to come by in the playoffs. Uh, you know, they, they they're scored in tight, so maybe getting a little more greasy for us is uh, something we could focus on. But um, you know, like you said, we had a really good first period. You know, we couldn't really join up any better and come out of the first period tied one one. That's just sometimes how it works in the playoffs, and you can't get too rattled by it. You kind of just got to keep going about your business and keep plugging away. Anything that surprised you about them? I mean, obviously, you know, they scored, they got a lot of points in the regular season. They're a fast team, but were they a little greasier than maybe you expected going in? Yeah, we know they're a skilled team and they like hanging on to the puck in the offensive zone, but, uh, you know, they got some bigger guys that like to hang on the puck, sort of like us. So, um, you know, they, they do a lot of good things in the offensive zone that kind of make it hard to uh, defend them. They, they get their defense active, which uh, makes, uh, makes it harder for some of the, you know, wingers that, you know, aren't usually used to defense, you know, jumping by them in the offensive zone, but. Uh, I think we're getting uh, used to it, and the series goes on, we'll do a better job at it. Brendan, did uh, the Albany series prove to you guys that you've got as much will as there is skill in this this room? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, as much as it comes to uh, skill and, you know, different matchments, stuff, that stuff, it's just kind of who wants it uh, more, and, and we proved that in the Albany series, a lot of resilience, resiliency, so, um, you know, there's not there's not too much panic. We know we just got to have our best game of the season on uh, Wednesday. I was going to say, is that you know the closest to a must-win other than Game Seven that you've had all year? Yeah, you know you never want to lose on home ice, and um, you know you're never really in trouble until you lose on home ice. So um, that's kind of the mindset that we're going in with right now. And um, like I said, it's going to be the biggest game of the year for sure.